everybody, Nick from Match Point Tennis and welcome to our video on the checkpoints of the forehand. We use these checkpoints when we analyze anybody's stroke uh, that comes to us. When we give lessons, whether it's group or privates, we look at these checkpoints uh, daily with our, with our customers or our players to make sure that they're hitting these checkpoints, these guidelines, in order for them to have the most efficient and effective forehand they can. It is really important to know that there are going to be some slight differences between coaches, okay? But foundationally, these are the checkpoints I believe that will help you bring your game to the next level. So let's go ahead and go through them. And we're going to start with checkpoint number one, and then that's that ready position. You want your knees bent, sh show, uh, feet shoulder width apart, okay? Elbows out, okay? Racket head up, not blocking your vision at about a 45 degree angle. I'm a one handed backhand, so I have my non dominant hand on the throat. Two handed backhand looks like this, so there's that good ready position. From the side, here's how it looks elbows out. Notice the space between my body, okay? Racket vertical, not down, okay, out in front of my body. And I've got two hands on my racket for the two-hander, and one-hander is going to look like this. The ready position is the foundation. It starts everything. If you think of the checkpoints as dominoes, okay, this is the first one. If this one's bad, other things are going to follow or fall. All the checkpoints are going to mess up, so it's important to be ready. Okay, there's arguments, well, my racket hangs lower and I can get into ready position or hitting position very quickly. Great, but for most of us, having a racket down here and trying to get here like Sampras doesn't work. So why not start ready, okay, so you can turn and be more efficient with the stroke. So let's get on to checkpoint number two, the unit turn. Remember, ready position, elbows out, racket head up. So the unit turn where it looks like this from the forward side. Okay, some things to look at. Notice how my left hand is still on the racket. My strings high-fiving out here. You're looking for the two-headed monster, and you've got this back elbow up. You're hitting elbow up. Why? Because when that back elbow's up, it helps with the face of the racket, the angle of the racket on contact. Also keeps the, hit, the, ball, the racket on the hitting side of the forehand. So you, it, does, it promotes this it forces you not to have such a big backswing. You see some people with a huge backswing. That elbow up really helps it. It keeps everything on the hitting hand, hitting side of the body. It helps with that timing and power and, and, and hitting deep with the shot. So keep that elbow up. Let's look at the unit turn from the side, okay? Yes, you can turn and have elbow leading forehand and this hand come off early. But you can see sometimes if I do that, I don't have, look at that shoulder turn. Now look at the difference maybe here and I come off. Okay, yes, I can probably hit a really good forehand, but watch this turn. Look at that non-dominant hand staying on the racket, forcing that shoulder turn, forcing a little bit of that coil. It's gonna give you more power, okay, more topspin, help with topspin if you already have it on your on your uh, forehand. So from unit turn, we're going to go into three here. We're going to go into racket drops. So when the racket drops, the knees are going to bend to an extent, right? If this is a mid-level ball, you're going to bend to hit that ball. If the ball's higher, you're not going to do that. So again, these are situational. I'm thinking when we hit this, it's more of it right in our sweet spot. So look, we're here. Unit turn to step three, the racket drop. The knees bend. Okay, my arm's a little more straight. My strings are pointing down. That's gonna help when I get to contact at four, a vertical or neutral racket face. So we're looking here, left hand has come off, but notice I'm still turned. Okay, my racket strings are pointing down a closed racket face from the front. Okay, that's what this looks like. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Okay, eye on the prize. And we're gonna go to contact. Now, when you go to contact, you're going to start the hips. Everything's going to start working together. So it looks like this. We go to contact here. We want a vertical racket face. My arms extend it, okay? Now, you can also have a bent elbow. A lot of pros have that bent elbow. There's a big you know, debate on that, and you're going to see another video coming up on bent or straight. I have a straight arm. That's just natural for me. I've always done that. So look, racket drop. Here's contact point. Notice how my left hand, my non-dominant hand, still above my hitting hand. Vertical racket face. The weight starting to transfer to the front foot, and notice how the hip's starting to come through. Okay, looks like this from the side. 
looks like this from the front. Okay, and the ball should be out in front of your body, away from you, almost like you're shaking hands here, right nice out away from your body, okay? Then we get into checkpoint number five, the extension. You're gonna come and you're gonna lift up, okay, out towards your target. And you can see that V on the side right now is what we're looking for, okay? So here, and you extend up, okay, head out looking at the ball, heads on that shoulder, okay, and you're gonna use that left arm it's gonna be able to catch that racket. So look at the extension, okay? And depending on the shot, yes, you can go out towards your target, but that has nothing to do with where the ball is gonna go. The ball's already gone. So when it's like follow through to your target on the forehand or backhand, great. The ball's gone. So following through at your target really doesn't do anything, right? So we at contact point here, okay? The extension out, you're looking for that V, even from back here, okay? You can see that one side of a V, okay? And then lastly, the follow through, we want that over the shoulder. Notice my heel is up, okay? Looks like this here, up over the shoulder, heel is up, chest facing the court, hips facing the court. Now that looks a little different depending on the shot. And yes, there are different follow throughs, okay? If I'm trying to hit deep in the court, I'm gonna try to extend out like this and I'm gonna lift, I should be lifting up it's a lifting motion on the forehand all right that's what we're looking for don't just stay down right lifting motion okay so that's really important so those are the six checkpoints we look for the unit turn or excuse me the ready position the unit turn the racket drop to contact extension and follow through so if you follow these checkpoints when you're analyzing your own stroke or your player stroke, I guarantee you're going to hit better forehands and you're going to play better tennis. So please, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell below. And if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and we'll see you next time.